it's safe to say that 2013 will go down as a banner year for Panasonic's plasma televisions. In fact, thanks to Panasonic's efforts and some serious competition from Samsung, plasma TV technology in general is getting a much-needed and well-deserved boost in consumer attention this year. Plasma has always been the superior technology where picture quality was concerned. But its hefty weight, bulk, and inferior brightness have allowed LED TVs to grab the public's attention as the sexier and mistakenly superior type of TV. But now the playing field has been leveled. These latest plasmas are thinner, lighter and brighter than ever before. And that tips the scales in plasma's favor, U2026 big time. If we were to go through all the features this TV offered, we'd be here all day. First, however, we need to point out the fact that the ZT60 and VT60 series are remarkably similar. As such, you will find that our reviews of each will be, U2026 well, remarkably similar. We'll do our best to point out the crucial differences in each review. Now, let's dive into the good stuff. Both the ZET60 and VT60 are the most beautifully designed TVs we've ever seen from Panasonic and, for our money, are the most beautiful plasma TVs available this year. But while purists might prefer the ZT60's sharp, clean lines, barely visible chromed bezel and thin, Acrylic trim. Gadget heads might lean toward the VT60, which features an onboard camera and front firing speakers system. In addition to its gorgeous panel, the VT60 also boasts a stand that is as functional as it is beautiful. Made of solid, brushed metal, the 16, 5 pound stand is one of the most rock solid we've seen. Though it isn't as curvaceous as the Samsung F8500 stand. Nor does it swivel. We never worried about whether the 80-pound, 